Hey, so we talk about this. You talked about your mom in that acceptance speech quite a bit. Yeah. What are you guys going to do to celebrate? Um, well, I'll probably have to drink a lot less than I usually do <laughs> now that she's around. But, <laughs> no, we're actually going to in and out right after this That's what everybody's in the doing, car. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm kicking my shoes off. I'm going to get drunk right. and have a burger. Yeah. Mama Bear Jerome, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's she been kind Mama of fangirling Bear. out over at that Is my mom that famous right She now? is. For yeah, you you've, you've done that. Yeah. You've I've done been that to her Instagram. <laughs> you know, I think she's chasing my clout. Like... I think she's a f the fakest person here. She's building <laughs> she's a riding whole, the coattails, just, yeah, right? Riding my, no, I'm just like, she's the biggest supporter. I, she's everything. I just got distracted. Oh, um, oh. Everything yeah. I could imagine from a mother, from a supporter, from a best friend. And so to have her here is such a yeah. dream. So we're going to party our ass off, you know? Yeah, in your speech, you talked about the Exonerated Five being here at the Emmys. Yeah. And I think through this whole process, obviously it's a heartbreaking story when they see us, but they're getting this recognition and love now. Right. How have they been taking this moment in? They feel like champs. They feel like kings. I think, um, I think in a way, they're very proud of themselves for overcoming and, and fighting through and being this kind of inspiration. I don't think they ever thought that they would be such an inspiration to the world, and now they are. 30 years ago, they were sitting in a prison, falsely incarcerated, and now they're styled and dressed up at a at the Emmy red carpet. You yeah. know, so it's incredible. When it comes to the rest of your castmates, uh, what are you guys? Do you, are you staying in touch now? I mean, I feel like you're forever part of each other's yeah, lives, it's right? For all of us, yeah. yeah, it's definitely a big family, especially me and Corey um, himself. We we. Uh, created a special bond, but uh, it's just always fun and games when we see each other. You know, we always go our separate ways, work hard, and come back. And it's like I, I'm looking at my cousin who I haven't seen in years. Have you, you seen Nisi Nash yet? Of course. These oh, are right. just since you got the trophy. Oh yeah, she was sitting in front of me. Oh, okay, so nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I had a big what, moment. What did she say to you? Uh, she was so proud. She gave me a tight hug, and she just she teared up. It was beautiful. Yeah. I actually came back to my seat, and the entire when they see us cast was standing there, and they kind of brought me in. Felt like I was at a basketball game, like you know when you make that. <laughs> yeah, right. That final shot. You make that shot. last shot. Yeah, Go back to your team, like. <laughs> Where are you gonna keep this Emmy unless Mama Bear Jerome steals it? She'll probably definitely steal it. I don't. I can't ever see me owning this thing. But um, if I were to have it, I don't know, on my pillow okay. for like three months at least. It's gonna stay there. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Uh, it may, it's kind of like an actory question, but uh, like the journey of an actor, there's lots of ups, lots of downs. Uh, when it comes to maybe a moment for you yeah. where you knew you were worth it and you deserve the recognition that you get, has that moment happened for you? God, I think we all spend our lives trying to be worth it, you know, but um, I definitely feel as though I have a voice that I never thought I'd have. And so, yeah, I definitely feel good. I feel blessed. I feel like I have this one shot. I have this one chance. So I'm going to try to do as best as I can. With it. Well said. Congrats. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. Thank you Congrats. Congrats.